Today, I want to invite you to stillness. One of my favorite quotes is by Thomas Merton when he says, So perhaps I have an obligation to preserve the stillness, the silence, the poverty, the virginal point of pure nothingness, which is at the center of all other loves. It's a pretty strong statement, but you just might find that the more you practice silence and stillness, the more you will be drawn to it. I don't know about you, but in spite of my best efforts, my mind and my body are anything but still most of the time. My mind especially is always racing and trying to keep up with the frenetic pace at which the world seems to operate at. At the same time, as Merton says, stillness, silence, and the virginal point of nothingness already exist in some mysterious way. On some level we know it, and stillness helps to get all of the unknowing out of the way so that we can truly know, as the psalmist says in Psalm 46.10. If you're ready to practice stillness using this psalm, I invite you to participate in the following meditation with me now. Just a reminder if this moves too fast for you, take some time later and do it more slowly. To begin, let's do a very quick body scan. Scan your body and remind the various parts of your body from the top of your head to the tips of your toes to be still. Remind your mind to be still. And now let's use Psalm 4610 to practice stillness and being. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am. Be still and know. Be still. Be. Today, if you find yourself in a tense situation or your mind starts to race or you get lost in obsession, remind your body to be still. Remind your mind to be still. And take some time to just be.